welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us on Midwest Access. We have made our way over to Destination Barbecue. If you remember grilling and chilling, Christy Buchan is the owner here at Destination Barbecue. And we are checking out her store because this is a good stop as we head into Christmas and gift buying. Yes. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you as well. The weather's still kind of, we could be grilling and chilling out, I think. We could definitely be grilling and chilling. <laughs> I mean, I, I really, I want snow. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. They want just some mild snow, that white Christmas. Right. I got I got skis last year to like do the whole um what is it, skate skiing. Uh -huh. And I can't do that because no. there's no snow. Yeah, so we need some snow yeah. so she can get out, okay, wow. and utilize her what are they? <laughs> skate skis? Yeah, so it's um have you ever heard of the Berkey? Um so it's up in Hayward, Wisconsin. And so instead of using like ice skates, um, but you have skis on oh. your feet, so you're actually, it's kind of... Okay, we need to do yeah. another segment, <laughs> skate skiing with Christy. No, you don't want to do that with me. <laughs> you have some boxes here because you have different boxes put together, perfect gifts for the holidays. What do you have here? So we have four different boxes here, and we just decided to pull things together that, um, that one, people can stop in and just grab real quick. Different price ranges. Um, the local box is one of my favorites because we are highlighting products that come from Minnesota and Wisconsin. So, of course, we've got my good friend uh, Chef Jim from Wildwood Sports Bar. We have his seasoning in there. Uh, Saints and Sinners comes from uh, Twin Cities. Okay. Jimmy Ray Sauce is Circle Plans, Minnesota, and then these two are from Hudson, Wisconsin. That's fun, local yeah. box, and it's a really good idea for someone that likes to eat and you don't know what else to get them. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and then we put together the brisket box, and that this one was inspired because we get so many people that stop into the store and they're asking us, how do I make a brisket? Right. So I had a gentleman that worked here, and uh, he was a competition chef. So he gave us his recipe, and then we just put everything together that you would need for a brisket. That's you, nice. So the recipe is yeah. right up here. We've got the recipe there. Yep. You have a meat temperature. That's a magnet that can go on your refrigerator or the grill, but it can't go in a hot spot on the grill. And we have the injection. We've got the hot gloves. You've got your needle for the injection. And of course, as we've talked about many times, you need that thermometer to mm -hmm. make sure that you have the meat done um, to, uh, to the right temperature. And then we've got um, the rub. And this, again, Saints and Sinners out of the Twin Cities. So okay. that one's fun. And we always get at the holidays tons of people that come in and they want hot stuff. I mean, I know you like your habaneros. I like it hot. I, I like it. <laughs> so, um, so we decided to put a bunch of items together for the hot box. And, you know, we've got candied habaneros. We've got our strawberry jalapeno preserves. And this stuff, as crazy as it sounds, this is actually good in oatmeal. Oh, that sounds really crazy, actually. I know, it is. It has just a little bit of kick, but, uh, but yeah. What? Who put it in oatmeal and then was like, wow, this is really good? Was that you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I ran out of brown sugar. It's <laughs> That's funny. I know, but okay. it it has it's more strawberry flavored than it is jalapeno, but you just get a little kick. So. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. And you get your healthiness from the oatmeal. Well, right. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we have our box of favorites. Uh, this one is we've taken products that um, it's either staff favorites or our favorites from our customers. Um, our number one selling sauce is our apple uh, apple habanero. It is not spicy. It is very sweet. Um, I have two little guys who come in here with their parents about every two months, sure. and they come in, they run, and they um, when they take the bottles home, they put their names on the bottle. Nobody is allowed to touch it, <laughs> and the, the mom said that they actually use it for ketchup. They wow. substituted ketchup That's with this cool. sauce. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, and the the little gadget here, the. Uh, tr barbecue trivet um, that's fantastic because you put that on the side of your grill yeah. on the side shelf so when you have you know you're putting sauce and the utensils are dirty you just take that silicone mat and throw it in the dishwasher or yeah. clean it up in the sink perfect all right some great options yeah. and these boxes are all put together for you but if you're not interested in the boxes you have yeah. so many other items here at yeah. destination barbecue and this is the wall that we've been talking about for i don't know how many weeks this is where you can come in and check out some of the sauces and spices that you have here yes and the best part again about coming here for any of this product you can sample any and everything in the store before you take it home oh, nice. and we prefer that you do sample it because sometimes people think that they're going to like it and yeah. then they try it and they they end up liking something completely right. different yes 
Yes, yeah. That is so important. All right, Christy, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate you joining us today and showing Absolutely. off some Christmas ideas because some people are very hard to shop for and yes. food usually wins. Spices yeah, usually win food. Right. Absolutely. Right. No, thank you so much for coming in. So I was thinking while we we're doing this segment, yeah. we need to do an ice ice fishing segment We've once it gets about yes, that. and then you can bring your skate skis. Sure. <laughs> and then you can watch me fall. Yes. <laughs> You're not going to fall. You'll be you'll be a seasoned vet by then. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Okay. I don't know. Are we going to have ice? Uh, we, we'll have ice. I we'll have ice. So. I think I we'll so. have ice. <laughs> <laughs> we have a link to Destination Barbecue on our website. That's KTDC.com. We have to take a break right now, though. We'll be right back.